Well, hello everybody, and welcome to the rehearsal room we are in at the moment. And it is about a couple of days now before we uh, have Jack and the Beanstalk on the Norwich Theatre Royal stage. And I'm here sat with me at the moment are some of the musicians that you'll find down in the pit, um, just below the stage. So joining me are Mealy, Alex, Ben and James Bill, who's our musical director for the show. James, we're getting closer and closer now to opening night. How are things going so far, and what do you enjoy the most about conducting and arranging um, for, the, for the pantomime this year? Uh, yeah, so for me, it's all about how we can take this kind of fairly disparate group of songs that don't necessarily bear very much resemblance to each other and turn them into a cohesive show, really. So, uh, and also we need things like dance breaks and, uh, and you know, these great big silly sections where we might be in one song, but suddenly it needs to fly off somewhere else. So that's really a really great part of the arranging and prep. Um, in terms of conducting the show and stuff, it's uh, it's good fun to get the band in, uh, make sure they start on time and finish on time. Uh, <laughs> that's the kind of that's what that's about really for me. When you're arranging a piece, what kind of different things do you do, you do to make it different and unique for this panto itself? Yeah, so for instance, uh, we we have the song uh, Green Green Glass mm -hmm. uh, in this show, um, but it's a uh, it's a great big uh, dance number. Starts off quite quite a natural way, singing the song that you expect to hear, uh, but we launch onto a great big fantasy world of kind of jazzy musical theatre mm. uh, until we land in to kind of hip hop land for a little while, uh, and back to a big kick line at the end. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of nice. Stuff, yeah. And Ben, you've been in the rehearsal room a little bit as well this week. How are rehearsals going so far? What have kind of the things you've been noting down ahead of you know being in the room with musicians? Um, it's been really interesting to kind of come into the process and see um, all the different flexible decisions that are being made in the rehearsal room. So often we'll figure out that certain parts work on paper but don't necessarily work in the room or other parts that we need to add in or something needs additional here. Um, so it's been really interesting to make those decisions kind of workshopping in the process rather than having everything written down before we all arrived in Norwich. Yeah. Um, and now we're getting to the point where obviously the band are in, so things are beginning to settle down into into you know what is going to resemble the show. Um, so it will be you know it's, it's really interesting and and you know my role changes from being a rehearsal pianist facilitating what the cast are doing to playing lots of fun synth sounds and and making up part of the world of the panto, which is really exciting. Lovely. And Alex, as a percussionist, normally you know in orchestras and other huge ensembles they'll be doing a lot of running around and going through all the different instruments from the marimba then over to the kit and lots of other bits however your setup on the side of the room here is quite small so what what do you enjoy <laughs> what do you enjoy playing the most um as a percussionist i mean for this this at the minute it's small um, but once we get into the theater it will then expand um, yes. with all the sorts of toys and and silly sort of uh, stings and things like that do you have a favorite whistle. percussion instrument that you like to play um, some of the whistles are quite fun. Mm -hmm. You've got the swanny whistle that sort of goes <laughs> kind of thing that everyone likes. Surely it's vibra slap. Vibra slap's always very good fun. It's one that goes <laughs> like, you know, a riddle on the end of a table yes. if you flick it. Um, yeah, um, and then yeah, like drums is always just fun to sort mm -hmm. of bash about with. Um, Marimba's great fun as well. So it's kind of, it's nice that you get to explore all the different instruments and you don't sort of get stuck to one. You Absolutely. can sort of like, chop and change as much as you want. Um, nice. But yeah. So, Mealy, you're the bass guitarist for the pantomime this year. Yeah. Um, you've all kind of come across the whole of the UK to come together to Norwich mm -hmm. as freelance musicians. Yeah. You've got a very short amount of time to practice and rehearse this stuff all together. Mm -hmm. How does it kind of all gel and how do you all work together as a group? Um, I think, like, as musicians, this is, like, quite a common experience mm. for us. It's just, you know, you go to a band call and then you're just like, hi, nice to meet you, nice to meet you, I'm Mealy, right, let's go, we're playing, and you get to know each other through like the tech so yes. that whole week that we're sat in tech and we're playing little bits and dropping in here and dropping in there and then so by the time it opens we're fine and it's just about kind of finding our feet and seeing where we all sit on the mm -hmm. beat and things like that so in your spare time in your downtime when yeah. you're away from the rehearsal room and away from performance what do you like to do what other kind of hobbies do you have um i enjoy like going walking running and being active outside mm -hmm. it's always good fun yeah get away what from what other the kind music. of other hobbies do you have outside of the music studio for me it's kind of anything to do with music Mm -hmm. so, whether it's doing music or storytelling stuff with the people who make it to this, uh, do kind of video editing and uh, kind of motion design stuff. So I've got a YouTube channel for children that I work on 
I like going out, walking my dog. Um, you know, and a lot of what that I like to do is just playing around with different musical things. So whether it's learning a new piece, sometimes that's like a, a more classical piano piece, and other times that's just mucking about with a musical theatre cast album and playing along. It's kind nice. of fills up my time as, as a hobby, but yeah, a job as well. Absolutely. And lastly, dream instrument. If you had any instrument that you're not playing that you could play at all, whether that be a percussion instrument or string instrument or woodwind, whatever it could be, what would you play and why um, start with you? Uh, I'd probably go with the double bass mm -hmm. because um, you've got those amazing like walking bass lines in nice. jazz that just are just so groovy all the time. Um, but also like it's really versatile and you can play in an orchestra. You know, yeah. sometimes as a pianist I often feel like what's missing is the ability to play in an orchestra. Mm -hmm. And what's really nice is that, you know, Panto offers an opportunity for us four musicians to play together and work together and um, play as an ensemble. So that's really nice and something that as a, as a solo pianist, sometimes you don't often get to do. Nice. How about you, Alex? Uh, probably an organ. Yeah? Um, I grew up sort of singing in churches and stuff when mm -hmm. I was younger. And just like, the, I found the organ really just awesome to watch. People, yeah. You know, all four limbs going at once, stops left, right and centre, mm -hmm. you know. So just the chaos of it and just how epic it sounds. Yeah. But then just how it, yeah, just love it. Just nice. Love it. How about you, James? Yeah, so I think one of the things for me that's most annoying about other musicians is when they never start mucking around with their instruments, particularly guitarists, <laughs> also drummers. Uh, so I think probably for me, the idea is bad pipes, because I would just beat everyone at being a Really? I've always wanted to be able to sing. Oh, okay. So I guess that counts as an instrument. Yes, um, absolutely. Yeah, like being able to sing well. Because I mean, I can hold a tune, but that's about it. But to actually have the confidence to sing would be really cool. Yeah. Fabulous. Well, Jack and the Beanstalk is here from the 10th of December to the 7th of January 2023. You can see all of these guys. Well, just have a look over down to the pit. You'll see James waving his hands about as well as playing. But you'll um, certainly hear them for sure. So come and see Jack and the Beanstalk at Norwich Theatre Royal. Book your tickets online at norwichtheatre.org or call our box office on 01603 630 000. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.